spanning 6,195 square kilometers, the Pomeroon Supernam, better known as Region 2, is rich in diversity, culture, and agricultural produce. Known for its massive production of rice, the region has been leading the charge for Guyana as the country sets its sight on becoming the food basket of the Caribbean yet again. As such, the expansion of the agriculture industry in this region has been a top priority for the government of Guyana. On Sunday, December 3, a new state-of-the-art $200 million multi-stage and multi-purpose farm was commissioned. This is in keeping with the Agriculture Innovation and Entrepreneurship Program, AIEP. In the first phase, a hydroponic farm will be built to cultivate crops such as kale, pepper, celery, and tomatoes. Hydroponics is a process that lowers labor intensity by removing the need for soil. This innovative way of farming has increased due to climate change. This type of farming supports plant roots with a nutrient-rich water solution that optimizes nutritional value, reduces pests and diseases, conserves water, offers space efficiency, and a faster harvest cycle. But what will this do for the communities and young people in Region 2? We spoke with several of the beneficiaries to find out. The president just launched this shade house project for young people in Region 2. How do you think this will benefit um, the people who are interested in agriculture like yourself in this region? It will help in job creation for the youths especially and it will help to introduce a new farming method on Coast in a whole. Most we hear about this kind of shade house initiative is through theory mm -hmm. and if hydroponics farming is through theory so we wanted to experience it and now we get an opportunity to experience it. Yeah. We have land space and it's important because we have to prov provide food. As you could see in the world, there's pretty much food shortage in almost every other country. It will help to influence more private sector people to actually invest in it. So it's actually a smart move. It's actually a skill. So young people usually, some of them just go on social media. They don't want to develop a skill. So with this, now it's actually a, a very good skill, but with this initiative, you don't need a big land space, so with one person they could have like a 10 by 10 meter land with the hydroponics they could actually produce food for themselves and also could sell from it. I think that this is a good initiative since well, most young people in this region it's very hard to find um, jobs in the agriculture field and to be able to get a skill and a mindset on the shade house it will be easy for them to be entrepreneurs and launch your own businesses. Mm -hmm. To me, it's very excited and it's gonna benefit not just me, but a lot of people. And in order to become your own, have your own business, I should say, this is gonna help you a long way. It's gonna benefit a lot of us in a way that, you know, we could start our own business. We could be able to have foods and vegetables on the market. The Excellency, I would like to say thank you very much for having this project out because it won't just benefit me it will benefit a lot of people society you know there's going to be a lot of food on the market now since i was small i found the love in agriculture i would have grown up in the crop production so since then i pursued my dream in the agriculture sector mm -hmm. agriculture in general to me i think is the most important sector in the country basically because it provides food security and nutrient security not for, for us, but the entire world. This Shade House project is a great opportunity to get young people involved. Not only that it creates employment, but they get the practical and knowledge so they can go out on their own and become entrepreneurs. Already, more than 200 students are gaining knowledge in this new and improved agricultural method. But what does this mean for Esequibo and the entire country? The mantra over the past three years has been to increase food production. Whether it is cash crops, livestock, shrimps, or fruits, billions have been invested by governments to create the infrastructure and, in some cases, initiate these projects to ensure food production is amplified and employment opportunities are created. The big picture is to make Guyana food secure. Secondarily, our hike in food production has also assisted CARICOM substantially. In helping CARICOM to achieve the 25 by 2025 goal of reducing the food import bill, Guyana has tapped into a US $5 billion market 
to sell its increased produce. The effect of this confidence is what encourages more persons to become farmers, achieving yet another goal of employment opportunities.